this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Let's take the long journey to Porth Tunnel. Or it could be right next to the last town that we were just at. Why not? Well, let's take a look around. Yeah, I just arrived here not five seconds in, and the women are throwing themselves at me already. Calling me lover. Well, maybe Hank Hoffman is a lover boy. Who knows? Uh, not into the cougars, but uh, I could use the map. Oh, uh, well, I've already got the world map code going for me, so I'm not really worried about that. Well, I didn't run into any monsters around on the way here, so, uh, no, I don't think I'll need that. Okay, how's it going? Hope you don't mind me barging into your hotel room. Oh, man. So much for getting a boat. I hope Torneco's okay. strange. Remember that for later, viewers. Eventually we'll get a key to all the doors that we can't get through, but uh, well, we don't have any of those keys right now. Why does everyone keep on saying a four instead of B4? Is that like a British... how they say it in England? I, I don't know. I've never been to England. I don't know how they speak English. Heck, I bet. Heck, most people here don't know how they speak English here. Oh, really? Huh. Man, everyone keeps on talking about that guy. Is that Sara? Let's find out. And no one here. No bookshelves with porn magazines. Oh, wow. Well. well, they haven't seen Maya yet, so. Oh, it's an evil flame. I don't know how you sink a ship from all the way up there, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. Nuts. Let me guess, we're going to have to do something about it. Yeah, probably. Chapter 2? Did did I see the, the book for Chapter 1? I don't think I have. Well, regardless, there's a whole bunch of these books throughout the game. You don't have to read them, but... They give you, or they tell you a little story about this guy looking for a magical staff for the Tsar of Samaska, but uh, remember that for later viewers. Oh, sorry, I spoiled the magical staff part a second in advance. I keep on doing it. Well, whatever. But anyway. Mintos, the fresh maker. Yeah, he must be. Well, I guess we gotta stop it if we want to go anywhere. We can't go anywhere else now. But as long as we're stuck here, let's go buy a golden tiara. We want to give that to Mina there. I wouldn't buy another one, because you're gonna find one in the next area that we go to. Yeah, unless you have a heroine instead of a male hero. In which case, okay, then you can buy another one. But otherwise, nah, I wouldn't really worry about it. Yeah, there's some advantages to having a heroine, but I can't make Han Solo jokes that way. Dockyard? I thought they called it a shipyard or something. But there's another term for that. Well, whatever. How's it going? <laughs> Throw them overboard! Uh, yeah, it is too much to ask. That's what you got in for when you had children. That's why I'm not having them. One of many reasons. Not a very good return on investment. Yeah, I'm not going to be uh, passing on the ba Bailey curse to another generation. Huh, really? Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. Maybe that has to do with the armor we heard about in the last video. Instead, we're going to have to settle for boxer shorts and another mini medal. Now, with the mini medals, you're going to start finding them even in the NES version at this point. And uh, if I can remember, I'll try to put a link to a list of the locations with pictures in the video description. Ah, must be Elena that guy was talking about there. Nice. 
So yeah, some of the mini medals are in the same location in the NES version, but some of them, most of them are probably not. There's only 32 of them in the NES version also. There's uh, 69 of them in the DS version. And what you do with them is a little different from one version to the next. And uh, well, I'll explain that when I get to it. Not right now. They're dang near abusive in the NES version. Well, they're pretty good in this version too, but uh, not as obscene. Well, maybe to a little extent. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. That's what Neko said he was going to buy one. Well, might as well steal what little money they have. Barrel doesn't seem like the best place to store your life savings, so... Or mini metal. I think we should have five mini metals down. I'm gonna try and keep you updated on how many I have periodically, so you can keep up with me and make sure. Well, you've got the same stuff that I got. And eh, screw those two up there. Nah, nah, I'll talk to them. I, there's not really anything interesting that goes on at night here, like the bar or anything like that. So I'm not. I'm not going to make it nighttime and talk to everyone again here. I'm only going to do that in certain villages every now and then. Are you the governor? I guess these guys must be the British ones. Oh, man. So I guess we got to head on over to the Pharaoh's Beacon to take care of those monsters and maybe rescue Tulum. What's a Zamzad? You got me on that one, viewers. Speak English! Heck, I could understand the guys at Berlin better than you. Huh. We gotta find that world map that they were talking about. Hmm. Can't break the crates, unfortunately. No, that's another game. You might want to hide your life savings in the room that you're staying in, not outside of it, but whatever works for you. Well, they seem to be doing well to me. Well, they don't seem to mind. Alright, holy water. Man, they give that stuff out around here like it's candy. Not that I'm ever going to really use that stuff. Okay, well, I think that's all the treasure we can get around here. Oh, there we go. That's where we get the map. Right, right, okay. Fortunately, I've already got the world map code going for us, so... Okay, well, now we just gotta head on over to the Pharaoh's Beacon, then. I think they were saying it's to the east or something like that. I hope you like towers, viewers! Come to think of it, I think that's the last tower in the game. I forget. Hmm. Now, I'm going to be starting to edit out more battles at this point because we're going to start taking longer. This is not a good example of that. But we're also going to run into a lot more newer enemies, too. Eventually. Not today. Not today. Ah, oh, hey, there's Terneko. But let's go grab some treasure here first. You gotta kind of push into the wall at that top part there if you're playing the NES version because you can't see, well, the two treasures here. Here, like you rotate the camera. You can't do that in the NES version. If only we could do that back in the day, but we couldn't. Oh, well. Well, I'll see what I can do with them. You're gonna come with us, right? More party members? Yeah, I'm not gonna get into a butt thou must situation. We'll just, yeah, we'll go through it. What do you mean, embers? Don't you use embers to start a fire, not put out a fire? Doesn't exactly sound like the best plan, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Maybe we're trying to start at the holy flame that they were talking about before to replace the evil flame or something? I don't know. You got me on that one, Bruce. Ooh, more mini metals. It always brings a warm feeling to my heart whenever I pick up one of those. I know there are harder monsters around here. I just haven't run into them yet. I 
just keep on running to the same old ones. This would be the last dungeon if uh, this were like Solo's chapter, but well, the whole thing is Solo's chapter, really. You gotta keep up on the HP there. I wouldn't hesitate to use, like, Snooze. Snooze is really good against a lot of enemies around here. Don't fall into the pits there, viewers. You heard wrong. Yeah, pretty much. He wouldn't even join my party. Suckers! Uh... <laughs> that even happens in the NES version. Ooh, a middle metal slime. Or a middle slime. We want to equip the poison needle, which you can do in the middle of battle. Yeah. Alright, he didn't even run away. I should be able to get him. Nice thing about the poison needle is it's guaranteed to deal one damage to him. Or he could run away. Or you could get instant death on him with the poison needle. Whoa! Stay away from there. Stay away from the edge, viewers. Don't walk over the side. Do not spit over the side. Okay, we got a new enemy, Venus Guide Trap. They're pretty much susceptible to any attack element that I care about. So let's use Whoosh on the big group. Bang, and we should be good. They can also cast Fizzle on your party, so that's why I want to take them out as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's see, they're pretty resistant to Snoo. So I wouldn't use that on them. Just kill them the old-fashioned way. Ow! Please don't kill Maya. Please don't kill Maya. Thank you. Maybe I should have healed her up before that battle, but oh well. Yeah, pretty much for the remainder of the game, really, I'm going to keep Maya on the poison needle. Because the odds of getting instant death are good enough to outweigh any benefit of the attack power of any better weapons that she might have. And here we got another new enemy, Featherweights. I don't think I met up with them before, did I? Well, anyway, uh, good idea to use Snooze on them, and Sizz, and that should be good enough. Unfortunately, I have not learned Sizz for Solo yet, but oh well. If only I had a Cautery Sword for him, that would be nice. Yeah, Poison Needle works a lot better in the NES version of the game, but it still works here p pretty good, too. Alright. Not that I need it, but yeah, it's there. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Now, there's four staircases on this floor. Three of them, or maybe there's only two. Well, there's four corners to this place. I'll just tell you. This is the right one. The other ones lead to dead ends. And I don't think there's any monsters up here, or random battles anyway. But here we get the second golden tiara. I want to give that to Maya there. Um, oh, did I... Uh, oh, that must have gone into Maya's inventory. Okay, there we go. But yeah, one nice thing about the golden tiara, let me go back to it, it can protect against Fuddle, which is basically like the confusion status element there. So I'm going to heal up here and see if we can take care of these guys. Can we stop them from using the evil flame for destroying any more ships? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!